Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Tuesday, January 19th, 2016, around 5.24 in the afternoon in Bellarica, Massachusetts. It's very, very cold out today. It was sunny, but it was ineffective. It was so... The wind was a howling 40, 50 mile per hour gust. Hopefully everybody in the northeast area was bundled up because it was cold. I'm wearing my long john and wearing my mittens and wearing my hat. And rest of the week sunny, but Saturday still up in the air. But if we're going to get snow, we could get walloped. Some news to report. John Scott, who got traded to the Montreal Canadiens from the Phoenix, I mean the Arizona Coyotes, who's now playing the, in the AHL, is going to be in the All-Star Game in the NHL after all. That's a good move because he was voted in by the fans. And if you're voted in by the fans, you should go to the All-Star Game unless if you're injured. And another news item. Reruns of Little House on the Prairie will be coming to Cozy TV this fall and Cincinnati Reds have voted Pete Rose into the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame. That's good. Now I hope the Baseball Hall of Fame puts Pete Rose in the Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame soon. He should go in before some of these PD guys, but he won't. He'll probably go in when he's passed away. That's sad. That would be very sad. And that's about it on the news. My second video blog subject of the day is about the Hungry Tiger pizza place and shop, sub shop in the town plaza in Bellica, Massachusetts. The Hungry Tiger's been around for many, many years and it's a real, real popular restaurant. It serves all kinds of pizza, like cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, ham and cheese pizza, pineapple pizza, Hawaiian pizza, um, vegetable pizza, cold cut pizza, turkey pizza, chicken pizza, you name it. They they serve all kinds of pizza and it's reasonably priced. I think $9.95 a small one and a large one's $14.95. Plus they have a lot of seafood which is caught fresh daily. They have haddock. They have um, cod. They have um, fish and chips. They have a, a, all kinds of other fish as well. And they have a lot of good salads. You could have a chicken salad. You could have a ham salad. You could have bacon salad. You could have just um, chef salad, Caesar salad, chicken Caesar salad. Any kind of salad you want then. They have reasonable replace salads. Plus, at the Hungry Tiger, they have all kinds of subs. Small subs and large subs. They have chicken finger subs. They have turkey subs. They have ham and cheese. Feel um, parmesan subs. Eggplant parmesan subs. Roast beef subs. Um, bologna subs. Salami subs. All kinds of subs. Small or large. Anywhere from like $4.99 to about $9. And the subs are pretty, pretty good to have there. Also, you can get drinks there. You can get Diet Coke, Coke, root beer, water. And for many years, they had $1 draft beers. Their draft beers are pretty good and I, I don't I think they have maybe a couple of other beers but it's not a full liquor license and stuff and also the inside of Hungry Tiger seats about a decent reasonably amount I think about 50 to 60 people and they have t they have TVs like at every like booth there like you sit sit down and you can watch television and stuff there. They usually have news on on NECN when I've been in there a few times. And also Hungry Tigers, one of the few pizza 
places and some shops in Bill Lincoln does, does not deliver, which that's kind of a bummer because most of the other sub shops in Bill Lincoln deliver except one or two or three. And the hours of Hungry Tiger are from 11 a.m. a.m. to 7, 11 a.m. to 9.30 at night most of the days of the week. I think they're open longer on Fridays and Saturdays. Plus, um, Hungry Tiger has pasta dishes, all kinds of pasta you can imagine there. It's a very good sub shop, and once in a while, they have ads in like the coupon p um, sections of like um, mailings. They could you could get discounted pizza there, or like two for one subs and stuff like that. And it's really, really good. Usually, most of the customers from like um, the from Hungry Tiger are the the businesses at the Town Plaza, like Altitude and Bob's and Market Basket and CVS and other the and the other businesses. And it's the only it's one of two food places in the Town Plaza. The other one's Max Noodles and also McDonald's is kind of on the outskirts. A town plaza. And that's about it on the Hungry Tiger. Hopefully, if you're in Bellarmine, Massachusetts, try their subs and their pizza. I love their subs, especially the veal parmesan sub. So go there. And that's about it on that. Be back Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter for the third and final video blog of the night. Tonight's final video blog of the night's personality profile. On former NHL player, yeah, NHL player Brian Bellows. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Brennan guy, Molly Rose Blood of WCCO Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hutt, so so stunning. She's got nice legs as well. Amy Swensey, so awesome. And Julie Donaldson of Cam Comcast Sports Mid Atlantic's my TV sports crush. And in the words of Dr. Thomas Shockey, this action will not be tolerated at BMHS. See you later.